To a white Southerner in 1946, nothing is more provocative than a black man in uniform. He's brought off a bus and he's hit with a blackjack within moments. It just seemed to be something that shouldn't happen in America. No one can say that what happened to Isaac Woodard was justified. This is not a case that the Justice Department wanted to bring. And at trial, they showed that their heart was not in it. Judge Waring was horrified that he was made part of this travesty. He was emerging as the conscience of the South. Woodard's blinding just seemed to encapsulate other cases of violence against African Americans. They thought it was perfectly normal for a Southern sheriff to get away with blinding a black man. The idea that a war veteran could be attacked and beaten by law enforcement officers surprised Truman and enraged him. And then he turns to his staff and says, my God, we have got to do something. Thurgood Marshall and his legal team are becoming very effective at chipping away at the segregation status quo. He was threatened constantly. His life was always in danger. During a trial, they would have to move him around from house to house. Judge Waring says to Marshall, bring me a frontal challenge to segregation. Marshall's office had files from floor to ceiling of these cases. They are playing for the U.S. Supreme Court. They are building a record for the U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has rendered a momentous and historic decision. Who would have guessed that the blinding of a heroic veteran would be the beginning of the end of Jim Crow in America?